we're going to be learning how to use our interactive smart boards to be more interactive and engaging. We're going to create hide and reveal activities, um, and we're going to learn three techniques to do that. Let's look at those. There are three, the move, the order, and the erase. A move activity looks like this. There's a question, where is Tutankhamun's tomb? You hide the answer. You just created an object. You select the object and slide it down and it reveals the answers for your students. In the order technique, the answer is seemingly not there. You select an object, slide it on top of the answer, and through a layering technique, the answer magically appears. In the erase technique, the answer is seemingly also not there. If you choose the eraser, you are erasing an ink layer that matches the background and the answer appears. Why would you want to hide information before talking about it or why would you want to reveal answers in this way for your students? It does help by increasing wait time. It gives students an opportunity to talk and use language to process answers. And that's very good. So let's look at how to use the hide and reveal technique. So I have some answers already created. You would type answers just like in the slides that you've been creating this morning. So we have these answers. You're going to look at the toolbar. You're going to come and select or press the shape and choose the shape in the conceptual and textual part of the toolbar. I like the rectangle. We're going to choose that. We're going to go ahead and come down to the color palette and then choose a fill color and a line color. I want to choose purple for fill and also for line. And when I create, I press and drag and a rectangle is created. And then if I choose my select tool, select that rectangle come to the object drop down menu. I can clone this object. The top item is clone. I press and select. And I'm able to clone that and create order on my page by having objects in the same size. I can do that again. Press the object drop down menu, clone. have a very orderly page. Let's review those steps again. You type the answers that you want hidden. When you press the shape button, its contextual panel will appear. Click the rectangle or another shape and then select a color from the color button menu. Draw the shape over the answer by pressing and dragging. Select the object drop down menu and press clone to create more move and reveal objects for all of the answers you have created. Now I'm going to give you an opportunity to practice. If you will use your Smart Notebook Training Learner Workbook and look at pages 41 through 44, though all of these techniques are described on those pages, and you can use the slides that you created this morning to practice. Thank you.